Hello guys, Sanjeev here. Okay, so here is a question. What if you want to mount your any of your S3 bucket to your MacBook as a local folder? What do you need to do for that? Well, there is a command called S3FS. So that you need to install first and just pass the credentials to S3 password and you just mount it. You mount the S3 bucket to your local bucket. We'll see how to do that. So the first step is you need to install S3FS. As I have already installed, but if I type this, so this is the actual command, brew install S3FS. You just press enter. So yes, for me, it was already installed. That's why I'm getting S3FS is already installed. But for you, it will install fresh one. Now the next step, you need to pass your AWS credentials that you configured in AWS configure just a one line with your access key and secret key and pass it to password hyphen S3FS. So I will show you that file. So it is, as I have already created, you need to create it. So it is dot password hyphen S3FS. So this is already created for me. You need to create it for yourself. Access key ID in this format and secret access key. And then you just need to pass it to this file, it's a one line file. And this is what you need, you need to write, this three FS. And you press enter, it's done. As I have already said this, so I'm not going to write this one. So I'm just exiting out. Now you have installed S3 FS, you have put your uh, secret access key and access key ID in, password hyphen s3fs which is required one now what this will do is if you want to mount now if you if you are mounting means you are going to use this command s3fs so i will just clear this now we need to create a folder a local folder i will create a local folder where i want to have my all the images from S3 bucket. So I have one bucket where I have some images which I want to mount in this one. So I will create this one first. S3 hyphen images. Now it created. So the next step is write S3 FS command and write whichever folder, whichever bucket you want to be mounted and where you want to mount it. So I want to be mounted at s3 hyphen images so i'm just going to press this now if it really got mounted or not you just type mount you will see this one which means it got mounted now we will just go to that folder and we'll see if it downloaded all those files or not so i have three files there it downloaded all these three files. What are all these three files? So in my S3 bucket, you can see this. So this is the bucket name and these are the files. Now I need to, let's say, unmount it. So you have to go back and then you just need to type umount and the folder name, which was actually mounted. So if I just type U mount S3 images, it now unmounted it. Can we check that to confirm? You see that folder is not there now. But that that folder will still be there in your machine. So what you can do is you can do rm hyphen rf s3 hyphen. It was I think images. Just remove this. So now you are clear. You now you saw I have 
installed i have set the password i mounted into one of uh, our local folder and then i unmounted it so i cleared everything thank you guys thanks for watching the video hope you will like uh, this mounting technique see you in our next video